Alright, so here's the fish. Here's our sauce. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look how nice it looks. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, Appa feel like eating fried fish. I have, uh, this is approximately 600 gram of uh, sweet lips. Uh, one type of uh, snapper, it is also called emperor fish. The meat is very tender and it's very sweet. So um, usually I will steam it, but today I feel like eating fried fish. So I'm going to deep fry it later. Uh, I, I, after you wash the fish, I actually uh, make few slits on the fish body and we will marinate it with a little bit of uh, salt. Then we will go prepare the wok. So fill out the wok with some uh, oil and uh, bring it to smoking point. So once you start seeing some smoke coming up from the oil, you can use a long spatula to help you slowly pull in the fish. Actually, this fish is a little bit too long for my wok. Uh, the wok I'm using is 30. Why I'm using this today? Because uh, this is my new wok. Ooh, yeah. The splattering. A bit scary. <laughs> now you know why I'm using a long spatula just now. So I'm going to leave this side for about 2 minutes before I flip it over to the other side. And I'm going to keep it at least to medium high heat or high heat. We'll come back shortly. I should have wiped uh, using a wipe to wipe dry the fish a little bit more. I did not wipe it dry enough. Therefore, there are some water uh, inside that makes the splattering just now. Maybe it's better for me to use my 32 centimeter standard steel wok. Never mind. Alright, this is after approximately 3 minutes. I'm going to slowly flip it over. And I shall give the second side another two to three minutes. This is after another two minute plus. The fish is basically uh, ninety percent cooked, uh, but I just want to move the fish, adjust the fish a little bit to cook uh, the the tail and also the head. Because just now the tail was actually above the oil, yeah. My wok is a little bit too small for this fish. Alright, total frying time approximately 7-8 minutes. It's basically done. We'll take out the fish. Push the fish to the side to allow the oil to render out. And put the fish over an oil absorbing paper or kitchen towel at the side. Here's my fried fish lying on top of a kitchen towel. I will make a very simple sauce. Now a lot of people ask me what I do with the excessive, the remaining oil. Well, if I find it, if I find the oil still very clear, I will sift the oil and also put inside a standard steel uh, container like this at the side and I will use it the last round. One, the most is one more round. If not, if I find the oil is a little bit uh, quite uh, not very clear, I will just throw it out, throw it off here. Yeah? So I have put in a bit of oil here, heat it up and let's uh, pan fry some ginger. Until it is golden color. Right, as you can see the ginger started to brown and I can smell the nice ginger aroma coming out. Now we can actually add in some oil, for uh, water. This is water, yeah. A bit of light soya sauce. Some salt. A bit of sugar.
Just make sure the salt and sugar is nice is uh, nicely melted, yeah, dissolve. You can put in a bit of cooking apple chicken stock powder as well, optional. If you prefer darker color, just add in some dark soy sauce. Also optional. And I like to give it a bit of garlicky flavor, so I'm adding in some fried garlic. Basically, our sauce is ready. Ooh, very nice. Look at this. Mm hmm. Here's our sauce. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look how nice it looks. And I have some fresh coriander. Alright. Very nice. Alright, here's my very simple. Uh, deep fry sweet lips fish. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come cooking up our Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.